Hey everybody, it's uh, November 2nd and it's really cool outside. I think it hit around uh, 40 or less last night, so had to break out, you know, the winter sheets this morning and uh, yeah, fall is here, finally. So this being Saturday morning, I already did a lot of chores around the house, but now it's time to get ready for the next phase of the uh, range platform. And that's basically to get ready for um, the digging of the pier holes and making sure that they're plumb and center and uh, pouring into the tubes. So I gotta get everything prepared for that and I'll show you what I'm looking at here. Okay, as you can see here, I've got my uh, 12 inch tube forms. I've got three of them that are both four feet high, 48 inches long. Uh, I got three of them because I basically just have to cut 30 inch form, forms. That's how deep I need to go. And uh, three 48 inch tubes will take care of that. I just need to uh, then marry two of the cutoffs together to make the fourth. Uh, 30 inch so that's that I'll show you what I'm doing there also I have uh, six uh, 13 bags of the high strength 5,000 psi concrete mix uh, and that's what's going to be put into the form tubes and of course I'm going to use a anchor bolt for the uh, six by six um, uprights so I'll keep you posted I've created these templates and that's where the hole is going to be and this is a guide I'll take some spray paint and uh, you know spray around this uh, template so that'll tell me where to dig but in order to find out where to dig I basically approximately put a hole in the middle of it and I'm gonna have a plumb bob come down from my uh, strings to show me exactly where the center of that pier is going to be. And that plumb bob should be pointing, you know, approximately at that center. So basically that's what I'm going to do. Okay everybody, here's the plumb bob I'm going to use. And guess what? That's my grandfather's. So it's going to find another useful task in its very long life in the same family. I just think that's pretty cool. Stay tuned. Grandfather Saul. Okay, I've got three tubes uh, that are single, and now I've got this one with the leftovers, and I need to make 30 inches out of it. So I'll just put these cut ends together. The factory ends are on each end. I'm going to make it 30 inches. Best I'll get it. 
there's a gap here. But I'll just put, I'll put tape around this just to reinforce it. Okay, I reestablished all the uh, lines and I squared, make sure that everything's still squared. And those two lines right there were gonna, where my piers are gonna be. Uh, I squared up diagonally. It's 119 inches and a half, corner to corner. So that's, that's really good. So the only problem I see is that my batter boards are too close to the hole. So what I'll have to do, uh, I'm not going to worry too much about that. I'm going to just uh, do the plumb bob, mark the hole, and remove those uh, batter boards. Unfortunately, I, did, I didn't want to have to do that, but I got them just too close. Uh, these right here are far enough away, so I won't have to remove those two as I dig. But I think the front two I'm going to have to move. But again, you know, they, the batter boards have done their job, and as long as I get the hole nice and 30 inches deep, I'm okay. So stay tuned. Okay, all the holes are marked with the plumb bob. So uh, I'm gonna try my best not to move those batter boards because I do actually need them whenever I place the uh, anchor bolt. I wanna make sure that it's right in the middle. So yeah, I'm gonna, that's gonna be interesting. So let's see how I can do that. On to the digging. Hoorah!
Okay everyone, we are pretty much done putting in, digging and putting in the forms. This one in particular was supposed to get that 30 incher, but I dug down, oh about 20 inches, and there's a massive rock right underneath, so it kind of has a natural footer, and uh, yeah, so that that's still I think deep enough. This is on the uphill slope one, so uh, on the downhill I have the full 48 inches. Again, I hit rock there, but you know, that's down slope, so I think that's going to be fine. Uh, this one was able to go in all the way, pretty much. That's good because this is probably going to, you know, it's, it's the lowest, might bear the most. Um, and then this one, I hit rock. <laughs> I mean, there's rock everywhere. So basically I cut away a portion of the tube, right over here it is. I cut away that, that portion of the tube there and put in another section and kind of you know made it a little bit high so it's still deep it's a good uh, 30 inches so you can probably see that rock not sure yeah right there that sucker is big old rock I'm not gonna spend my time dealing with rocks so at this point I'm ready to pour but I want to put, put the lines up, uh, so I'll mix in that wheelbarrow and uh, I'll get the uh, anchor bolts ready as well. They've got to be ready whenever I uh, put in the sacrete, so stay tuned. Okay, um, I went ahead and put the strings back up and I measured everything all around. Everything looks good all around that hole and this hole so um, yeah I've got uh, the bolts ready I've got trowels ready so let me show you that okay I, I made sure that I I got the bolts uh, this is a 5 8 inch bolt uh, I believe it's 12 inches um, I'm using the nut to be the depth gauge and I measured the post base that you know this uh, this threaded section has to poke up through uh, so basically that's the concrete line where that blue tape is when I'm ready to put it in I'm gonna put this nut down and then take the tape off and then the nut will be the depth that it needs to be so that's how I'm measuring that. Got a little trowel again. That's my grandfather's, so <laughs> use that. And my grandfather's trowel. Um, I've got a gallon of water. Gallon of a milk gallon, but uh, each one of the bags takes three and a half quarts. So I'll just put in enough, and I've got my. hoe that I'm going to mix it with along with the shovel and I think that's it and then I'll just fill up and as I fill it up I will go ahead and use this rebar to agitate it to get the bubbles out and then when I hit the top I'll go ahead and get a uh, 2 by 4 scree it off use the trowel and then I'll get my plumb bob out again and measure down and it I already know that this is going to be kind of off center so you know as long as it's you know within an, within the 10 ring we'll say <laughs> all right I don't want it to be six or uh, five I want it to be within the tenths nine ten eight around there so yeah this is really coming along today I can't believe how much progress I made so stay tuned <laughs> Ooh, 
boy, I forgot my uh, breathing apparatus. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and crater this before I pour the water in. Again, it's three and a half quarts, so it's not all of a gallon. Okay, here's the first pier. I'm a little disappointed in my accuracy, but I think it'll work. Um, yeah, it'll. I think it'll work. So we've got a. You know, it's pretty deep. It's high strength concrete, and uh, hopefully that side won't break out. But uh, the bolt went in kind of rough I mean it, I got it in about halfway and then I had to tap it with a hammer and uh, I went down to the nut so that's what's going to be left to basically hold the um, post base and I'll just go ahead I, I'm, I've run out of time today I've got a some company over so I still need to finish three more of these and it's, it's going real fast, so um, hopefully tomorrow I'll have everything in the concrete, which is really great because then I can start with the framing. So the, the next thing will be the posts, getting them level. You know, they're going to be different lengths, obviously. So, yep, I'll finish up tomorrow and I'll finish up the, uh, the pier base video tomorrow. Stay tuned. Okay, everybody, it's Sunday morning, and I finished all of the concrete piers. Just take a quick look at these. The bolts are in. That's the high one. That's the front. Another front. I should have filled that up to the top. I don't know why I didn't do that. It took three bags, and it would have taken more than three bags. I think that's where I messed up, but it'll work still. I'll just cut away the other part. And then, of course, the fourth one over there. Now, these strings that I used initially to level, 
they look like they're going to be perfect, at least for setting the first 6x6 six six and determining, you know, level. I think that that's, these lines are great guides for the post height. Because I wanted at least, you know, 10 inches or so over there, just so I could put a cross brace if I have to. Um, it, I need enough 6x6 six six post to do that. So the cross brace would go from there to there. I would also have a cross brace between these two and a cross brace between these two. So kind of thinking ahead here and I don't know, I think that this this height of the posts is good. Now we're going to have uh, above the posts we're going to have uh, 2x8s which are really 7.5 inches and then the joists will be 2x6 which is 5.5 inches. So we'll have 13 inches higher than the string line as the actual deck not counting the uh, deck boards themselves so I don't, I don't think that's going to be too high I think that'll, that's going to work out pretty well so uh, I think I'm going to relax the rest of the day the next thing I need to do is put down some landscaping fabric and go up to my driveway up there I've got lots of gravel that I could just scavenge because they, they dumped a bunch of gravel up here. So, anyway, here I'll talk at you. Um, anyway, uh, it's a beautiful day. It's, it is a gorgeous fall day. As while I was uh, mixing concrete and uh, filling the holes, it was just a cool breeze just flowing over me out here in the country. The birds are still chirping, uh, and it's a and the leaves are turning, and it's it's a gorgeous day. So I think I'll just, you know, I, I've done enough manual labor this weekend, so uh, I'll go ahead and uh, call it a day and just enjoy it with the family. So have a wonderful um, week coming up, and uh, Homestead Pilgrim signing off.